question is, what is the law of attraction? Oh yes, welcome. I am Saint Germain. We welcome you all. We would be showing our channel that the law of attraction is based on your vibrational frequency. Where are you vibrating in this moment? What is it that you are putting out to the universe? It is when you have raised your vibration to that of a frequency of divine love, you would attract more divine love to you. This is the law of attraction. What and where you're vibrating at is what you will attract to you. Many of you watching this already know this law of attraction. You are already familiar with this concept. You are already familiar with the frequencies. We would recommend tapping into the law of magnetism as well. This would help accelerate for those of you who are wanting to manifest more in your reality. The law of magnetism is opposites attract. Ah, how could I do both at the same time? I am doing and playing out the law of attraction and attracting to me what I desire. And the law of magnetism is doing the polarity of that we would say to turn both on at the same time by simply putting the intention i will step into the law of attraction and attract what a desire to me but yet when i create something bad or what i consider to be bad in my reality in my perception i consider it to be something bad or wrong then i say i didn't create that i'm taking responsibility that i created the good in my life but where are you taking responsibility that you created the bad as well? You must take responsibility that you create all frequencies and everything in your reality. You must take responsibility that you create all in your reality in order to change your reality. You must first master poverty in order to create wealth. You must first master love in order to conquer loneliness. You must first master illness in order to create wellness. Ah, oh, what do you mean by this? How would I master the frequencies? And we would say to stop judging them. You are judging them from an ego perception. You were saying when something bad happens to me, I did not create that. But when something good happens to me, I did create it. And you were judging the fact that when some something bad happens or someone in something in your perception that is bad, we wouldn't call it bad in our perception. It, it just is. It simply is because we're not judging it. But from an ego perception, you are judging it. And you were saying that something is good, bad, right or wrong. And we would say it is neither. This is the spot you would be required to resonate in in order to attract what you desire to you. This would put you in the fifth dimension reality. This would put you into the now moment. If you had um, an experience without judgment, if you were standing in the middle of the polarities instead of being in the polarities, you were saying that if something good happens to me, I created that. But if something bad happens, I didn't. And we would say you create it all. When you are attracting to you with the law of attract, uh, attraction, you are asking those who hurt you, you are asking them to come and bring that frequency to you. Take responsibility for this. Uh, my spirit would go to another spirit and say, I have not yet gotten my power yet. I keep, um, I keep vibrating in lack and I feel like I am less than and I am not enough. And yet I haven't mastered transmuting this within myself. Could you come and visit me and criticize me and put me down and tell me that I am not good enough? And when they show up to tell you, you are saying that something is happening to me instead of for me, but your spirit has asked them to bring these frequencies to you so that you can change and master that frequency within you. You do this by not judging it and giving it gratitude when somebody criticizes you, uh, give it gratitude. If somebody left a mean comment under this video on the YouTube channel, uh, Tara would give gratitude for it because it is energy and it is not good, bad, right or wrong. It simply is. It is not negative or positive. It simply is. If you stand in a fifth dimension perception, then a negative perception a negative comment would propel the algorithms forward just as much as a 
positive comment. It would propel the algorithms forward. So give gratitude to this. This is the same in your reality when there is people coming into your life and you're feeling attacked and they are being mean to you and you were saying this is happening to me instead give gratitude to it and you will master the frequency do not judge it if you are being harmed by another do not judge it stand in a place of non-judgment and then you will be able to create delicious deliciousness into your reality you will be able to manifest anything you desire but if you are still judging it then it will show up the opposite. If you're still judging poverty as wrong or bankruptcy as wrong or as less than or as embarrassing or humiliating, then you're not, you haven't mastered it yet. And it will keep showing up in your reality until you change the frequency within yourself of non-judgment. It is simple, but yet it is difficult when you're in a third dimension reality. We would say to simply observe it, observe the feelings and allow them to arise from your shocker systems of your perception of what bankruptcy feels to you or what lack of money feels to you. Sit with it, allow it to arise. Most of you, as soon as you begin to feel it, you run from it and you get angry and you say, I did not create this. I do not want poverty in my reality. I do not want bankruptcy. And I refuse to look at it. And yet you are the one that created it so that you could master it. If you master the deepest depths of the frequency in the polarity of the light, then you will know the greatest light. But if you are saying, ah, oh, I will experience a little bit of poverty in my perception, and I am afraid to go any deeper than that, to look at it, then you will only receive that in the polarity in money or in wealth. Ah, oh, there are many that would be quite rich on the planet or quite wealthy on the planet if they would face these fears. Allow it to come to the surface. Uh, stop hiding. The comfort zone is not where the spirit wants to play. It is within the discomfort that the spirit gets excited. It is within the discomfort that the expansion of the consciousness within you ex uh, grows. And when it expands out, you can receive more abundance because you become more abundant within your consciousness. First, master the polarity of what you are, and then you will know who you are. You will know what you are in abundance once you master the polarity of that uh one moment please okay so he's told me to drink water so <laughs> <laughs> fair enough fair enough so just so everybody knows that you need to be drinking water because you're essentially almost overheating as the yeah, energy is coming yeah. through you so it's kind of like your uh your radiator fluid if you really are pulling <laughs> off the engine yeah, just because they're bringing, like, there's other send of asters coming through bringing frequencies through my chakras, so that takes more water, so I have to pause for some cool down, yeah. No mm. problem at all. That was, a, that was an amazing answer to a very simple question. <laughs> <laughs> it he, goes, he, yeah, he kind of goes he, a no, that was a places with things. Th yeah. yeah, that was a beautiful answer, and uh, there's a lot packed into that answer, too, by the way. It's a dense... A, I'm sure I'm going to have to listen to that one again. Um, my next, my next question uh, to St. Germain in regards to the law of attraction is that there's a lot of misinformation about the law of attraction, about only it being something for physical wealth or things of that manner uh, and not anything really else in the, you know, in, in the, in the zeitgeist, everyone just thinks you just wish for something.